Good morning, staff and students. You're joining us on the Falcon News on WCFE. I'm Jack from Miss Louder's class. And I'm Alexis from Miss Angela's class. Today is the Friday, September 30th, 2016. The 24th day of school and, and a Friday half day. Today, Olivia and Kylie from Miss Maltba's class will lead us in the pledge. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Remain standing for the Fur Falcon Pledge. As a Fur Falcon, I pledge to be a responsible member of our Falcon family. I will do my best to score higher than the rest by making good choices and showing respect. It's all up to me. You may be seated. Alexis, what kind of weather can we expect today? This morning, it is cloudy and 68 degrees. We will have partly good sunny skies today and a high of 82 degrees. We have a beautiful weather weekend ahead. Jack, what are we having for lunch today? Today we are having silly we are having a silly sack lunch with a chicken fillet sandwich, applesauce, fruit power up punch, and milk. Nice. Now for all the news you need to know. Due to early dismissal, you will not have connect or recess today. Lunch will be served before you go home. According to NCPedia, North Carolina has many lighthouses. Cape Lookout Lighthouse is one of them. The lighthouse oil vault and keeper's quarters were not completed in 1812. It did not take long before mariners realized that this lighthouse was inefficient. The tower was too short and the light was too weak for ships to see it in time to avoid the shoals. Six years later, construction of a new taller lighthouse began. When it was first built in 1859, the second lighthouse was a simple red brick tower, and as was Cape, the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, the Body Island Lighthouse, and the Currituck Beach Lighthouse. The Lighthouse Board decided that each coastal lighthouses would be assigned its own distinctive day mark or color pattern. This would allow mariners to determine their location during the day in the same way that light flash patterns did at night. In 1873, the Cape Lookout Lighthouse was painted with its distinctive black and white di diagonal checkers or diamonds. Would you like to say the U.S. Pledge on the Falcon News? Just get a partner or a group of friends and tell your teacher to email Mrs. Malcolm. Next Friday, October 7th, from 6 to 8 o'clock, we are having um, our first movie night. The featured movies are Zootopia, Hotel Transylvania, Ice Age, and Goosebumps. The cost for movie night, which includes the movie, pizza, and drink, is $15 per student and $5 for each additional sibling. All students must attend car A for elementary. Please RSVP on the form that went home with you by this Monday. October 3rd, you can make checks payable to Carl A. for Elementary School. Tickets may also be purchased at the door. Today, the media center is open for checkout from 8.30 to 12 o'clock. If you want to exchange your books, come with your name tags and book, uh, and book anytime, anytime. Teachers, you may send up to three students at a time. Today begins our fall fundraiser. Now we will hear from Ms. Dent with attraction coupon books. Good morning, Carl Burr Falcons. I am Jan Hinchliff with Attractions, and this is my friend Ariel and Leah. And we are here to tell you about the fundraiser coming up. You're going to get another packet today 
pulled the book up. It's the Attractions Restaurant Coupon Book. You guys love this. Do you like PDQ girls? Yes. Do you like McDonald's? Yes. Do you like Dave and Buster's? Yes. Do you like Sea Life Aquarium? Yes. Free pizza? Yes. All these coupons are in the new book. It's an amazing new book. And you're going to be selling the book again this year. You're going to get the packets home today. Your packet is going to look like this. Students, do not open this packet. You're going to wait until you're with your mom, your dad, your grandma, your aunt, whoever you live with. Open it together, and you will be able to look at your sample book. Once again, you're going to sell the book for $20, but you are going to practice safe selling. You are not going door to door alone. Send the book out with your parents to their workplaces. Walk with your parents to your next door neighbor. You are not to sell this book by yourself, okay? But take it everywhere. Let your parents do that for you because the school really needs a lot of money and you are going to help us make it. So, prizes. Everybody loves the prizes the most. Who would like to wear a hat to school one day? Wouldn't that be fun? If you sell one book, you get to wear a hat to school. If you sell five books, you're going to get a free book. Isn't that awesome? Then your whole family can eat for free. If your class sells only 15, that is not many. You guys get to pick your spirit prize. What's your favorite spirit prize? Mm, guessing. Mm. Extra recess? Yeah. Extra art? Yeah, you can pick your spirit prize. And if the whole school can sell 600 books, guess what? Principal Roberts is going to have to wear a crazy outfit <laughs> all day long. And last year, you didn't make him do that. This mm. is the year you're going to make him do that. The grand prize again is a trip to what, girls? Great Wolf Lodge. Great Wolf Lodge. You want to get your wolf ears. It's going to be fun. So teachers, real quickly, make sure that the student gets the packet with their name on it. Keep your teacher bag. Do not throw those away because the last day of the sale is October 14th, and you are going to collect the orders, drop them in the bag, and send them back to the office. Please do not open bags or count money. The PTA will do that for you. Also, we have a letter in Spanish this year. So make sure that your Hispanic-speaking students get this letter of instruction. And that's all. Keep everybody excited. I hope you guys have a great sale. Thank you very much. Get out there this weekend and sell some coupon books. Raise your hand if you were into a card in the shows yesterday. I did. This is a new day with plenty of chances to earn way more initials. Let's remember how we can. S O N R S O R. And lots of ways up for today. Thanks for joining us on the Falcon News on WCFE. Signing off. Have a fabulous day for our Falcons.